let me work. Please let me work. Get that water. He about to, he about to get this work. He about to get this work. Hold up. Hold up. He gonna get this work. He gonna get this work. Hold up. He gonna get this Hey, what's going on, guys? Barry Robinson, A Million Stars Boxing. Okay, we're gonna go with some uh, footage here. Okay, so we're gonna start this round backing up. Then there's a decision to hold my ground again. <laughs> uh, small thing is all things. I'm gonna make a decision to start the round on the move, and then I'm going to stop when I decide to. And because I know that when people come. Everybody's taught the same thing. They step in with their jab. So I could just actually hold my ground here and smother the guy's offense. Give him a forearm up. Put myself between him and his body. Have to control a stronger guy. This is not a, the, the, the mom and dad's boxing manual. you got to have a little bit more to be the best of the best. Um, that's every sport. Every sport, the best have a little bit more. They go beyond. So let's continue to watch. So here, the closer I am to a guy, the closer I am to the guy, the less he can hurt me. I'm, I might have to roll my shoulders a little bit in between, like that. Like that. So I'm just going to smother his offense. Nothing's going to hit me clean when I decide to. Okay. Okay. So... Hmm, let's see how I start. Start this round going backwards. Then I said, let me get close to the guy and smother his offense. So he got his little punches off. Now let's see how I want to get mine off. Okay, I'm going to circle out. Okay, the first thing I need to do here, though, I'm going to get up on my back foot. I need to get up on my back foot real high here. And I'm going to get up on my back foot because the number one weapon in, in boxing is a jab. And every fighter, every gym starts their offense off with a jab. So if I could take your jab away, maybe later on in the fight, you don't want to throw it no more. Maybe the coach is yelling, you got to double it. You got to triple it, son. But they don't realize that the jab has been taken away. Now, I'm a pro fighter. And at a pro fight level, sometimes you just can't get your hands back fast enough. So it's not enough to say, hey, son, in training, get your hands back. Keep them up. Get your hand." So what I need to do from here is I need to control this strong fighter with 30 knockouts, 31 fights, only one loss. I need to control his head, turn, and get out of there. Smother his offense. Okay, I'm going to make a decision now. Enough of that. That's I'm going to make a decision. I need to get up on my back foot with that decision so I can pull counter and turn. Quick, let's talk about the pull counter. Let's talk about that. Now, um, a lot of people across the world always want to talk about uh, flash and flash, and it's a shame that that's all they might see. But, um, you know, you need to train thousands and thousands of reps. It's not enough for me in the gym, even if you're a power puncher. You're going to go in the gym and throw 300 power punches. You should be throwing 10,000 pity pad punches because if you can throw 10,000 punches in the gym, to throw one hard punch is nothing. To throw one hard punch is nothing. So if I could do thousands of reps of if I could do thousands of reps of pull where I done messed up, I done did it right, I done messed up, then for me to do it in a fight one time, for me to do it in a fight one time. Is not really a big deal. But I gotta break everything down into the simplest of drills. I can't expect to only go on a gym and train strategies. Hey, every time a guy is close to me, I'm gonna pull counter and then turn him. Because no, it's what the situation causes for. The situation at that time caused for him to get up on his toes against a strong, strong fighter. Throw his pull counter, but get the hell off the ropes because that's where his back was at that time, and that's very dangerous. Let's go from there. Okay, the first thing from there is just like the Sam Shai uh, Muay Thai. You know, great fighters don't just throw punches for any reason. Watch him immediately establish his distance. 
how do you establish his distance? There's a jab. Am I trying to kill him with this jab? Nah. But you know what? This completely stops his momentum at that time and gives me the space so I can continue to use my eyes to do the things I want to do. There's another jab. We're going to fight where I want to fight, when I want to fight there, and how I would like to fight. So, here Mayweather jumps in with a jab and a hook to the body. You got to check out this guy's combinations. So, that's exactly what I'm talking about when I say you can't just have one type. Let's check out this combination. I'm going to jump in with a hook. Okay? Now, we talked about, we talk about in several videos where if you only have a high guard, you can't see what's coming next. But a lot of people only train a high guard. And yes, the, 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 it's, you have to have a high guard when it's time to have a high guard. Just like Mayweather, if you watch his fights, he uses his high guard when it's necessary. He uses different guards when it's necessary. But if you only have one guard, get your hands up. You can't see nothing. So if you can't see nothing, let's watch Mayweather put this combination together. So it's a hook, jumping with a hook, and then a hook to the body. Followed by a jab to the pit of the stomach. Let's see what that sets up. Let's see. Let's go back. Small things, all things. So let's go back. Small things, all things. You got to look at this guy's decision making. You know, we're going to go back to the top of the round. We're going to break this thing down for you guys. Okay. Induce steps of his offense. Maybe says, I'm going to smother him. The closer I am, the less I get hit. I'm going to set up for a pull counter now. I've had enough of that. I need to get up on my toe, pull my head back, snatch it back, quick, bring the right hand, and turn him to get off the ropes. Okay. I'm going to circle around to my left, shoot a jab, establish offense. Shoot a jab, establish distance. Sorry. Jumping with a jab and a hook to the body, then jab to the pit of the stomach. Let's see where it goes from there. Eyes. Jab to the pit of the stomach, brought induce hands down. Induce steps in with a jab. Let's talk about the small skills, small skills, small skills. Okay, at a certain level, you got to be able to do everything. So we've seen maybe the catch the jab and smother. We've seen maybe the jab catch the jab move. Now we're going to see what he does. So you know the jab is coming. We talk about taking away a weapon. One way he took it away was the pull counter. Now he's going to take it away by simply being able to catch in it. Catch it. So he catches the jab. As you can see, has complete. It, it's difficult at a high level to just completely catch or parry a guy's jab. So he touches it at least first with his glove, which buffers some of the power, and then has to control it, control into his arm so nothing else gets there. What that allows Mayweather to do, to do is see what's coming next, and generally that's the right hand or something. So Indu decides to do what? Double his jab up. Now, that's a good thing to do, right? It's a double jab. Let's see Indu. Let's watch Indu. It's a double jab. One, two. Okay. But... What's easy is because, what's good is because Mayweather caught the first jab, guess what? You can take away the double jab because you can see that. Because he saw it, he was able to take a step back. Here you see Indu throw a jab, and here you see Mayweather pull his head back from it. Same thing again. Of course, do you recommend this to a kid? No, but if you've trained in a gym where you've gotten thousands of reps, you train, you talk about your eyes as deep and things like that, yes, it's possible. Everything's possible. With your eyes, you can see, and you have many options when you can see. So here you see Mayweather goes back to the ropes. Here again, he goes back to this part of the ropes because that's the correct place to go back because he's not in the corner. What that gives him an opportunity to do is... He can look and see what's coming and then escape out to the right. Now, here's just brilliant stuff right here. So, Mayweather here touches Indu's arm. Nothing major. The referee thinks they're in a full clinch and breaks them. Bigger, stronger guy. This is how he's going to be dealt with. It's when I'm ready to fight. Beautiful work. Okay, so they're broken. Now, here you go, and this is a beautiful scenario. So let's go back to this here. Look at the decision making. Okay, so here you see Mayweather gets hit. As he goes back, he tries to establish distance, but everything he's been doing so far is necessary, as you can see, and do stronger than Mayweather, bigger than Mayweather, and he's going to come forward like a bull. So what does Mayweather do? He tries to throw a hook here, but he gets hit with a jab because of that separation. And from there, Indu's going to start his offense, right? But Mayweather elects to turn sideways, go into his ultra-defensive guard, and smother Indu. 
And Indu is still trying to throw punches, but now look what Mayweather is. Not only does he smother him with his body, he then takes his left arm again, gets it in between him and Indu. Look where Indu's hands are on the outside. Look where Mayweather's hands are on the inside. Small things, all things, brilliant stuff. You just saw what if Mayweather hasn't been doing these things. You just saw that. Let's watch this fast. That's why it's so important to get reps in. Because you have to be consistent in three minutes. So it's Mayweather's job in this fight to consistently be defensive responsible, defensively responsible. And this is what happens when he's not defensively responsible. He gets caught at the range that Indu wants to fight at and then go to work. But then he was smart enough to do what? Take that away from him immediately and recognize what the situation was and smother the guy. Indu, Indu doesn't understand head control. He doesn't understand uh, range not just with head control, but range in general. So he doesn't realize that he's getting smothered right now. All he knows is that he's being physical and he's trying to get punches off. There you see he's made with the eyes again. Block a punch. Indu's doing the right thing, letting his hands go. There you see Mayweather again gets his hands in between him and Indu, smothers him again. So let's watch this gamesmanship. So Indu gets the separation he wants. Mayweather takes that away from him. Indu stepping back here. Gets the separation he wants. Mayweather smothers him again. Let's watch this chess match. Yeah, Mayweather stays close to him. Again, right back to that sideways guard. Look where... Oh, my goodness, man. Like, small things, all things. Look where Mayweather's right hand is, right glove is. I mean, he is holding the phone. That is the definition of hold the phone. And just very defensively responsible in addition to all the other things he's doing right now. So, you know, he holds his phone, keeps that hand off honest. On the way around, look at him control Indu's arm. And then look where he puts his left hand from there in between him and Indu's body once again. Control once again. And then from there, he uses his left hand to what? Let's watch this fast. Beautiful work. Small things, all things. Let's watch this combination again. Not just strong punches here. Intelligent punches. Why? Why are they just intelligent punches? Because they have offensive and defensive attributes. Okay? Let's talk about what those are. Again, look where Indu's hands are on the outside. So Mayweather elects here to throw a hook, which he misses. Indu slips it. And from that hook, I'm going to control his head. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to turn my body at the same time and extend my left arm to throw a right hand. Let's watch Mayweather set up offense again. This way, nothing comes back. Nothing comes back this way. Miss. Look how you turn a miss into more offense. I mean, that's just great technique. In addition to all the other mental, mental things that went on this fight. Same thing, smothering. Now, this is a real essential uh, part. So Indu doing the same thing he's been doing. He's being strong here. There he throws two jabs, clips Mayweather in the head a little bit. Mayweather tries to smother him again, right? Not just smother him, but look where he puts his right hand on top of Indu's arm, right? Smothers that left hook, which Indu likes to throw. Here, Mayweather's going to move his hips and his feet back. Let's see what he does with that. What you got to like about Mayweather is he throws punches. And if I was to go back to his pad work right here, it's the same thing. Where you touch him on his elbow, he's going to come back with something. He throws an uppercut for a reason. We're just going to talk about all the genius things that goes on. He throws uppercut. You know, you know, it's easy to go into the gym and say, I'm going to throw an uppercut. I learned to punch. He throws uppercuts for a reason. And dude's going to Mayweather's body. And at the same time, I'm going to time his body shot with my uppercut. Throws uppercuts for a reason. All in this, look at all the things we've, the decisions that this guy has made this round so far. We're only two minutes into this round. Okay, here's just, um, he just goes into PlayStation mode six. Okay, so after this uppercut, he's still close. He smothers him. He says, okay, now I'm going to separate my hips and my body while controlling his arm. Left hook, body shot. Head control, guy keeps his hands up for defense. Okay, right hook to the body. I missed that punch. Head control. Now let's watch what happens here. Now, what happens in a fight, and this is where you say you have to be smart and have options. The referee 
his job is to come in and to make a break and pull the guys apart. But Mayweather is so smart. After missing a punch, again, sometimes you can't. I forgot to mention that. There's just so, so many things in boxing. You, you can't get your hands back at a certain level. So at a certain level, if you can't get your hands back fast, then that's everybody. Why? Because the other guy's trying to defeat you. He's also a champion. So let's watch this whole sequence again. Okay, separate my hips. Body, body shot, head shot, head control. I'm going to throw a right hook. I missed the punch, so I'm going to control his head. The referee's going to say, get off his head. Okay, I'm going to let go before he comes over. Immediately, I'm going to control his head again to throw a short left hook, a straight right hand. And instead of me just wilding out and throwing more punches... In between that short left hook and that straight right hand, I'm going to measure him for another right hand. I'm not just going to throw punches. Let's watch that. Miss. Control his head. Referee says, okay. And I'm going to go to head control and throw him. Man, beautiful work. Beautiful work. Now, let's see what happens here. Indu goes... He goes backwards a little bit, he gets stunned, and he goes to smother Floyd Mayweather. Now, you saw what happened. Mayweather's been smothering Indu this whole time. Now, when Indu goes to smother Mayweather, what does Mayweather do? He controls his head and takes an angle for more offense. Indu tries to initiate a clinch, but Mayweather's smart enough to know that there's no clinch right now. He's a little bit hurt. Let me get him up off me. And he throws a right hand. Let's watch this again. You're talking about just, actually, we'll go back to the beginning of the round. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this is a round of Floyd Mayweather we're talking about. This is a, a round of Floyd Mayweather. A young, young Mayweather. We're not even doing a more advanced Floyd Mayweather. Okay, I'm going to start the round of going backwards. Let me hold my ground. I'm going to stay close to him because the closer I am, the less I, those punches hurt. And I'm going to stay in my sideways stance. Hey, I'm going to get up on my toes for a pull counter. I'm going to control his head and get off the ropes. Why? Because he's a pro and he's coming back with something. So I can't be just throwing punches in the ring. So I'm going to shoot two jabs, find my range. Jump him with a jab hook, jab to the body. I'm going to catch his jab, take a step backward. I can see it. I can see it. I can take a step backwards, not to the corner. My escape route to the right, control his arm. Referee thinks we're in a full clinch. He breaks us. Okay. There is the reason why I've been trying to smother him the whole time. He gets off a jab, but let me get right back close to him. Indu's going to push me off or try to turn me. I'm going to stay sideways. Can't hurt me with nothing there. Put, keep my hand between him and my body. Throw a hook. Miss it. Control his head for a right hand. I'm not going to throw sloppy punches. Throw an uppercut because he was throwing a body shot. Body, head, head control. Miss a punch. Referee says, get off. Let me get off before he comes and breaks us. Head control, control, punch again. Indu backs up, tries to smother me. Let me keep my distance. Control his head, not let him smother me like he's been doing. And even though you see there, Mayweather's so gorgeous with his shot selection. Uh, here you see Indu trying his best to smother him, doing the right thing here. Mayweather controls his head. There you see Mayweather, beautiful. After he throws that punch, you can see him right away, get his arm between him and Indu's body. He throws a lead right hand over his jab, misses the hook, does what right away? Establishes his distance. This is the difference between your typical fighter brawling and snapping and a fighter being smart when he has a guy hurt and throwing intelligent uh, offense. Miss, even though he missed a punch here, same thing, let me take my time. This time I'm going to come in with a different angle on that right hand. I'm going to stand right in front. I'm going to turn a little bit to the right as I throw that to set up my left hook. Mayweather does this one of the best in the world. Right hand pivot and left hook. And then if you go to Floyd Mayweather senior mitts, you'll see that on the mitts. Right hand pivot and left hook, which is something he just absolutely destroyed. Zab Judah and Otoro Gotti with. Let's continue watching. Jab, jab, one, two. Another right hand, control him with the right hand. You know, you control him with the right hand. Control him with the left hand. Throw intelligent, so I can throw intelligent punches. I, I could pity pat, so I can throw punch, hard punches when I want to. I'm not going to just go in a gym and throw a bunch of hard punches. I'm going to throw hard punches when they are open. Here, Indu's doing a great job of covering his face. Okay, so it throws a jab, it throws another jab up the middle. Control, control, control. Whip a right hand out off the back.
Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Okay, actually, I'm not going to wrap this up. Let's continue. Let's continue going. This is, I know it's a long video, but, uh, okay. So you see Mayweather threw his punches. He got his offense off. He, there he makes a smart decision. This is why I couldn't stop it. This is why I couldn't stop it, because he makes an intelligent decision. What is his decision? His decision in combat, after he just finished hitting the guy with a bunch of punches, is to take a step back and smile and relax, to take a breather. Again, what is his decision here? I just finished throwing a bunch of punches. I need to take a break. No, I'm not a psycho man. I'm not a, I need to take a break. While taking that break, let me smile, relax myself a little bit. Look for a little bit of offense. Look at this beautiful work right here. Small things, all things. Lead right hand. Look what, Let's see where his right hand goes. Head control. Man, oh man. And do, and do, there you go. That was the right thing. Right hand, left foot. Mayweather stays close to him. Can't get hurt with nothing. Let's watch where Mayweather takes his break. So not only did Mayweather smile and relax to take a break. Because, of course, you got to take a break. Let's see where he takes his break at. I was the closer to him I stay, the less I can get hurt. That, and that's a brave decision right there. But look at Mayweather working. Move his shoulders, move his hands. Slip his, sh slip his shoulders and stay real close to him. The crowd's going to go crazy here. And do strong punches. Watch Mayweather roll his shoulders, roll his hands. This is where he's taking his break at. This is where, May this is where Mayweather's taking his break at after all the punches he threw. Now let's see what happens. This is Mayweather takes his break at. Tough decision, but beautiful work. Nothing can hurt him. Sees everything with his eyes. Now he turns him off the ropes. Now, this is beautiful work. This is beautiful work. So, here he decides to take his break real close to the guy. Now, let's watch what happens when he, when he decides that this break is over. Fit. This break is over. He has his hands again between Mayweather and Indu's body. He turns Indu off the ropes nice and relaxed. Does Indu, come on guys, does Indu have any clue where he's at in the ring right now? This is beautiful work. Mayweather decided to go back. He made a decision to go back to the ropes here after he tried to stay close to him. He tried to be against the ropes, maybe couldn't be on his two feet for a second because he just, just finished throwing a lot of punches. So there he could use the ropes, turn his shoulders, then go back to the corner, turn my shoulders, turn my shoulders. Indu's doing the right thing. He's throwing punches, he's throwing punches. Okay, now I'm going to turn him, get my hand between him and my body. I'm going to turn him. I'm where I want to be at. I'm comfortable. So now I'll watch me with a turn him. See what happens here. Still stay close to him. Let's just see what happens when he decides this break is over. Okay, so the break is over now. Beautiful work. Wow, look how he explodes out of this break. I have to stay in close to this guy. I have to stay in close to this guy. He explodes with this same combination you saw earlier. This left hook off a counter left hook. Left hook, control, right hand. So this man is in a war. He's in a battle. Look at his decision making in a battle. Left hook, I missed it. I'm gonna control his head, right hand. Left hook, right hand. Left hook, right hand, head control. Come on, let's go, buddy. Left hook, right hand. This time, that's the pivot, and oh my goodness. Actually, what's crazy is I've watched this fight. I could honestly just admit something. I've seen this fight tons of times. This is my first time noticing how he switched it up on him. So here he goes from the left hook, pivot in, right hand. Gave him a different angle. Oh my goodness. Let's watch this fast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is my first time noticing that. Okay, let's watch this again. Left hook pivoting right hand off the head control, right? Left hook, right hand. Now left hook, right hand. Now left hook pivoting right hand. Man, oh man. Left hook, right uppercut, right hand. Control, whop, control, whop, control. Man, beautiful work. Okay. Let's watch this round from the beginning. We'll wrap this thing up. Uh... Floyd Mayweather is a genius. Um, he's been doing this, by the way, for a long time, guys. Now, this is nothing new. This is nothing new, what I'm pointing out. I mean, this fight was a long time ago. So, this is nothing new. This is, I mean, you just have to watch his fights. 
And you also have to want to learn more about boxing. That's the most important thing. It doesn't matter if this was Ronald McDonald doing this. You have to want to watch boxing and learn something about boxing. Okay, stay close, control the guy's offense. Pull counter, need to get up on my toe. Pull counter, control his head. He's a pro. Respect boxing. He's a pro. So let me do the right thing here. Get a jab separate for distance. Jump in with something. He jab to the body. Catch his jab. Get back to the ropes here on the side so I can escape out to the right. After I get out to the right, I'm going to control his arm. Referee calls a break. Perfect. I get to start over. Here I get caught between him and his jab which is what I don't want to do, so let me get back close to him. He pushes me off, but I need to get back close to him because this guy's dangerous. He's a pro fighter. I need to respect that. I'm going to stay sideways here and stay real close to the guy. Now I'm going to throw my hook, miss, control, right hand because I'm in a heat of battle. I have to be smart the way I get my offense off. I'm going to throw an uppercut because he threw a body shot. Then I'm going to body, head, head control, miss a punch, control his head. Referee says get off, but before he makes a break, I'm going to get off, control his head for more offense. Hurt the guy, he's going to try to smother me, but I'm going to separate so I keep my distance there and get off another punch. I'm in the heat of battle, so I want to, I don't want to just throw punches. I want to throw intelligent punches. So then I'm going to throw my right hand, pivot in, right hand. Out of left hook. See again, one more time. Jab, I'm throw my jab, one, two. Right hand, again. Control them with the right hand, control them with the left hand. Hook, right hook to the head. Beautiful combination making. You know, let me pause this one more time. I was going to let this go. But look at Mayweather's combinations. I recently saw a, a pro coach post a fight with guys throwing multiple hooks. And the other, like 60-something people liked it because the guy is famous. And, and people were like, oh, man, this is great. Fighters, man, first of all, if you're a pro fighter, you got to know that you can't throw combinations with multiple hooks without coming straight up the middle of something. It's dangerous. So if I throw a hook, I'm going to come right up the middle. And then I'm going to throw, I'm going to measure, let's watch this combination. I'm going to measure with my right hand, throw another hook, measure with my right hand again, then throw an uppercut, but I'm never going to just throw two wild punches or two hooks without putting something in between them. Let's continue watching. That's just uh, irresponsible. So I need to take a break here. Let me smile while I'm taking that break so I can relax. I'm going to throw a punch here, control this, have my right glove on the side, limits what I get hurt with, then I'm going to smother him. I'm going to take a break here, but I'm going to take my break real close to the guy. My legs are a little shot. I just finished throwing some punches, so I'm going to back myself up to the ropes so the ropes can hold me up too. This guy's going to throw punches. Even though I'm taking my break, I need to keep turning my chin so nothing lands clean and to keep turning my shoulders and keep my eyes on him because if I have my eyes on him, I can see what he's throwing and I can relax. So in, in, And it's tough to relax because the other man's trying to defeat you, but this is the discipline of a black belt. The discipline of martial arts, the discipline of boxing. So I'm done with this break. Let me go ahead and turn him nice and relax. He don't know where he's at on the ropes. I'm going to take a few more of these and then I'm going to explode out the gate. I'm just going to, I'm going to throw intelligent punches too. So I'm going to launch my left hook here. Head control, pivot out. Pit, pit, launch my left hook, pivot in right hand. Then left hand, right hand. Left hand, right hand. Okay, here I'm going to throw my left hand, right hand. Then my left hand, pivot in, right hand. Beautiful work. Change the angle. Then the uppercut, and then the right hand over top, head control, everything, all that good stuff. All that good stuff in between. All that good stuff in between. Um, that's all we got for you guys. A Million Styles Boxing. Barry Robinson. Pass this around. Share it.